Every pilot dreams of owning their first aircraft, scanning classified ads for that perfect deal that fits the budget. But behind those attractive price tags lurk hidden maintenance nightmares that can drain your wallet faster than fuel burns at full throttle. Today we reveal the dark side of 10 aircraft that promise affordable flying but deliver expensive lessons. Welcome to Do These Cheap Aircraft Destroy Your Dreams Fast? The Grumman AA-1 Yankee, a sleek, low-wing, single-engine aircraft with side-by-side -side seating for two, rolled off American production lines in the late 1960s, promising affordable sport flying. Built entirely from aluminum alloy with fixed tricycle landing gear, this light general aviation machine looked like a certified dream for budget-conscious pilots. Its compact design and advertised simplicity attracted flight schools and private owners alike, creating a robust market presence that would later reveal hidden maintenance traps. Beneath that polished aluminum skin lies a technical reality that catches buyers off guard. The Yankee employed thin aluminum panels with closely spaced rivets and complex junction areas requiring meticulous fatigue and corrosion inspections. Aircraft used intensively for training or exposed to harsh environments develop cracks initiated at rivet holes, interlaminar corrosion, or wing spar fatigue that demands expensive panel or spar replacement. Many amateur buyers discover too late that structural inspections require specialized mechanics capable of detecting these hidden failures. The enthusiast communities consistently report that wing panel attachment systems, landing gear mechanisms, and originally installed control instruments often lack robust aftermarket support or immediate parts availability. This translates directly into grounded aircraft accumulating hangar fees, parts shipped from distant suppliers, or even custom machining requirements. What appeared as an accessible aircraft transforms into a continuous maintenance project consuming time and capital far beyond initial expectations. Market estimates for 2025 place well-maintained Yankees with clear history, documented inspections, and moderate hours between 40,000 and 70,000 United States dollars. Many units with flight school backgrounds or incomplete documentation fall substantially below this range, directly reflecting hidden risk. Prospective buyers must budget additional funds for deep structural inspection using ultrasound, metallographic analysis, and corrosion verification, plus maintenance reserves for structural work that inevitably surfaces. But if you thought aluminum construction guarantees simpler maintenance, wait until you hear about another trainer that earned its nickname through bitter experience. The Piper P A38 Tomahawk emerged from Piper Aircraft's drawing boards in the late 1970s as a two-seat side-by-side trainer with low cantilever wing and fixed tricycle gear. Introduced in 1978 with a Lycoming O235 engine producing approximately 112 horsepower, this metal fuselage aircraft featured distinctive T-tail impenage, designed to provide student pilots with more sporting handling characteristics. Flight schools embraced it enthusiastically, but intensive training use combined with specific design peculiarities earned it the notorious nickname Tromahawk among maintenance professionals. Wing structure designed for this profile underwent production modifications, and the Federal Aviation Administration issued Airworthiness Directive AD 831408, mandating stall strip installation to correct spin behavior. Buyers must verify these modifications were completed and inspect wing condition carefully, as older units may have reduced ribs, post-production reinforcements, and potential fatigue requiring expensive structural repairs. The primary trap lies in intensive training history, repeated touch-and-go landings, firm student touchdowns, extended exposure to sun and weather on dirt strips, this usage pattern produces significant landing gear wear, shock absorber degradation, structural attachment loosening, and necessitates more frequent inspections. Experienced mechanics report wing spars or fuselage attachment points exceeding tolerance in high time aircraft lacking dedicated maintenance, while specific parts like trim tabs, skin panels, and T tail components carry elevated costs or extended lead times. 2025 market estimates place good condition tomahawks between $60,000 and $90,000 United States dollars. However, considering extra maintenance risk, cheap purchases without clear history become financial burdens. Buyers, considering this model need inspections focused on wings, ribs, and school use history, plus readiness for potential reinforcement or component replacement that distinguishes truly airworthy examples from maintenance nightmares waiting to ground your flying dreams. The training aircraft trap doesn't end here though, as limited production numbers create an entirely different category of ownership challenges. The Beechcraft 77 Skipper represented Beechcraft's ambitious entry into the light trainer market with a two-seat, low-wing, all-metal construction featuring fixed tricycle gear and Lycoming O235 engine producing approximately 115 horsepower. Manufactured between roughly 1979 and 1983, 
This side-by-side -side trainer produced only about 312 total units. The project utilized GAW-1 airfoil developed for training pilots with slightly more demanding flight characteristics, introducing a less forgiving nuance into everyday operations that foreshadowed maintenance complications. Technically, the low cantilever wing favors performance and visibility while fixed gear reduces maintenance complexity on paper. The nightmare emerges backstage where limited fleet size of 312 units means restricted support availability, parts manufactured on demand, few specialized maintenance facilities, and minimal industrial scale replacement component production. Even before addressing hidden costs, the aircraft starts from a structural logistical disadvantage in maintenance infrastructure. All metal riveted aluminum construction provides strength but intensive flight school activity means the skipper accumulated repeated landings, inexperienced student usage, elevated load cycles demanding rigorous spar inspections, wing defuselage attachment verification, and corrosion checks at junction points. When amateur buyers consider a skipper, attractive entry pricing conceals two critical factors buyers must address. First, complete verification of rare parts availability and detailed maintenance history distinguishing school hours versus private use. Second, contingency funding for out-of-catalog components or international procurement. If structural or finished items fail, correction costs can exceed the initial economic advantage. Resale problems compound this issue as experienced buyers recognize support limitations and heavily discount aircraft lacking robust documentation or training history, transforming the cheap deal into elevated risk and additional expense. Market estimates for 2025 indicate good condition skippers with clear history, moderate hours, and documented maintenance range between 60,000 and 90,000 United States dollars. Versions showing heavy use, school history, or maintenance gaps fall substantially below this threshold, reflecting the premium that buyers place on avoiding these maintenance nightmares that transform affordable dreams into expensive restoration projects, requiring specialized knowledge and patience. While American trainers present one set of problems, European engineering introduces complications that cross international borders. The Bolkow B0209 Monsoon developed by Bolkov GmbH, which later became part of Messerschmitt Bolkov Blom, completed its maiden flight on December 22, 1967. This sleek, low-wing, single-engine metal aircraft featured side-by-side -side seating for two with all aluminum construction and promising characteristics, including folding wings for road transport, options for fixed or retractable landing gear, and Lycoming O320 or I-0320 engines producing approximately 150 to 160 horsepower in higher versions. The intention was offering a sporty and agile aircraft with elegant performance for enthusiasts seeking European engineering excellence. From a maintenance perspective, the Monsan incorporates several critical aspects that transform a bargain into a headache. First, extremely limited production with only about 102 examples, built until the series ended in 1972, means the supply chain for specific parts practically doesn't exist. When an exclusive attachment, folding wing hinge, or retractable gear component requires maintenance, lead times extend dramatically and costs escalate substantially. This scarcity creates a logistical nightmare for owners expecting straightforward repairs and reasonable turnaround times. Technically, the folding wing designed to permit road transport or garage storage seems attractive, but each folding mechanism adds structural complexity, potential fatigue at junction points, requirement for special adhesives or rivets, and more detailed inspections. Specifically, fatigue and wing spars during aerobatic use or overload conditions resulted in non-trivial maintenance requirements. Additionally, the design's sporty performance includes sharper stall limits requiring conscious piloting, which further complicates matters for owners who wanted a low-cost recreational aircraft without demanding flight characteristics or expensive specialized training. Another relevant point involves European documentation and maintenance history often being incomplete or distributed across various jurisdictions, including Germany and United Kingdom. This combined with international or imported parts and cases where original retractable gear or hinge components are no longer in production elevates hidden operational costs. Resale liquidity also suffers as experienced buyers heavily discount the lack of clear history or need for major repairs. For 2025, market estimates for well-maintained Monson units sit approximately between 70,000 and 120,000 United States dollars, considering documented history, moderate hours, and revised structure. Metal construction presents one set of challenges, but imagine what happens when organic materials enter the equation. The Gardan GY-20 minicab, designed by Yves Gardan and produced by Constructions Aeronautique du Béarn shortly after World War II, represents a light, single-engine, low-wing cantilever aircraft with conventional tailwheel landing gear built from wood and fabric with later versions for amateur constructors. 
Although its first flight occurred in February 1949, the minicab fits perfectly into the scope of cheap aircraft hiding complex maintenance problems, especially for amateur builders who assume parts, bonding, and aging organic structure. The wooden primary structure includes spars, ribs, fabric covering or plywood, wooden truss fuselage, meaning routine inspection demands much more attention than metal aircraft as wood deteriorates through moisture, fungi, bonding that loses adhesion, and hidden leaks. The low cantilever wing provides better performance and visibility, but lightweight construction became vulnerable to time and use with many examples suffering years of exposure, irregular maintenance, or amateur assembly. Part of the nightmare appears when buyers discover fabric covering must be redone, wood needs replacement, or structure already suffered improvised repairs by previous builders, with each amateur built unit varying enormously in quality. Add to this that specific parts, aircraft grade plywood, or original components become increasingly rare, creating a strong example of aircraft cheap at purchase requiring continuous investment throughout ownership. Maintenance on wooden aircraft demands specialized knowledge that many modern mechanics lack, creating additional challenges, finding qualified technicians who understand wood structure inspection, proper bonding techniques, and fabric covering procedures. The romantic appeal of classic wooden fabric construction quickly fades when facing the reality of comprehensive structural surveys, moisture testing, and potential complete rebuilds. Insurance companies also view these aircraft with greater scrutiny, often requiring more frequent inspections and higher premiums that erode any initial cost advantage over metal alternatives. In the 2025 market, Value estimates for a minicab in reasonable conditions, flying with decent maintenance, revolve around 20,000 to 30,000 United States dollars. Any example requiring fabric replacement, wood substitution, or deep structural repairs will cost much less upfront but demand significant additional budget before purchase becomes viable flying investment rather than expensive restoration project consuming years. The wooden aircraft nightmare continues with French designs that blend artisanal charm with modern maintenance headaches. Designed by Claude Piel in the 1950s, the Piel CP301 Emeraude represents a low-wing cantilever monoplane with two side-by-side -side seats, featuring predominantly wooden construction with fabric covering, a typical combination of French amateur aircraft from that era. The structure comprises laminated wooden spars, wooden ribs, truss or monocoque wooden fuselage, and wooden or wood metal impenage, depending on variant. Artisanal construction provides charm but also maintenance complexity, as wood bonding can lose adhesion over time. Plywood may suffer internal rotting, fabric covering ages, and inspection access proves more complex for amateurs or mechanics accustomed only to metal construction. The low wing favors performance, but tolerance of aging structure depends heavily on original assembly conditions and maintenance history. Many examples built by amateurs varied greatly in quality, meaning each aircraft is almost unique regarding structural integrity and documentation. This makes pre-purchase inspection fundamental verifying fabric history, original bonding, moisture exposure time, intensive club or school use history, and subsequent modifications. The nightmare appears when discovering structure parts need redoing or internal bonding already failed with restoration costs in aircraft grade wood, fabric covering, and certification exceeding initial price differential. Finding replacement materials presents another significant challenge as aircraft grade spruce, birch plywood, and approved fabric covering materials require specialized suppliers and certifications. Modern aviation supply chains focus predominantly on metal aircraft parts, leaving wooden aircraft owners searching specialty suppliers or importing materials internationally. This scarcity extends project timelines and increases costs substantially, particularly when combined with the limited pool of mechanics experienced in wooden aircraft restoration techniques and structural bonding procedures. In the 2025 market, value estimates for an Emerod in good conditions, flying with decent history, sit between 30,000 and 50,000 United States dollars. Any example requiring fabric removal, wood replacement, or deep structural repairs will demand significant additional budget before purchase, transforming the romantic dream of classic French aviation into a long-term restoration commitment requiring patience, specialized knowledge, and financial reserves that few buyers anticipate. French engineering excellence extends beyond wood and fabric into metal designs, hiding their own unique surprises. The MS-880 Rally developed by Moraine Saulnier and later by Sukata, represents a light, single-engine, low-wing aircraft with metal construction, side-by-side -side seating for two to four, depending on version, and fixed tricycle landing gear, completing its first flight on June 10, 1959. Technically, the rally incorporates high-lift devices, including automatic leading-edge slats and fowler flaps that provided excellent slow-flight capability and short-field landing performance, making it popular in European clubs and flight schools. The truth reveals that low purchase prices, stimulated by advertisements of accessible European aircraft, 
can hide substantial structural maintenance needs, including hidden corrosion inspections, panel replacement, school lease history, and slat or landing gear overhaul. For 2025, examples in reasonable flying condition with known history estimate between $50,000 and $90,000 United States dollars, but attractive entry prices often reflect deferred maintenance or impending major structural work, transforming dreams into expensive commitments. European challenges aren't limited to the continent, as Asian manufacturing creates an entirely different supply chain nightmare. The FA200 Aero Subaru, produced by Fuji Heavy Industries, now part of Subaru Corporation, represents a light single-engine low-wing aircraft with two to four seats and all-metal construction frequently exported to Europe during the 1970s. From a technical perspective, the all-metal airframe appears robust with Lycoming O320 or IO360 engines providing good performance, but the critical issue emerges in supply chains outside Japan, which practically don't exist for many Fuji-specific components requiring months of lead time. Many buyers report that initial purchase economy evaporates when non-routine maintenance begins, requiring international parts sourcing and specialized knowledge of Japanese manufacturing specifications combined with flight school or club use history that many FA200s accumulated. Market estimates for 2025 place good examples between 50,000 and 80,000 United States dollars, but buyers must budget additional reserves for inevitable parts, sourcing challenges and limited resale market when ready to exit ownership of these logistically challenging aircraft. Returning to European designs reveals how even well-established manufacturers can't escape the training aircraft curse. The Robin HR200, designed by Avian's Pierre Robin, later Apex Aviation, and introduced in the early 1970s, represents a light and low-wing metal trainer with two side-by-side -side seats and fixed tricycle landing gear utilizing riveted aluminum structure with Lycoming O-235 engine producing approximately 108 to 120 horsepower. However, many HR200s spent years in flight schools accumulating repeated landings, intensive control cycles, landing gear wear, and corrosion in difficult access areas, leading to inspections finding spar cracks and control systems with significant play. For amateur buyers, the cheap acquisition can evaporate in unexpected maintenance, rare parts, and hangar downtime while insurance companies require more frequent inspections or charge higher premiums for former training aircraft, adding hidden operational costs. In terms of 2025 market values, HR 200 aircraft in good conditions with documented history and moderate hours estimate between $50,000 and $80,000 United States dollars. While versions with intensive school history or lacking clear documentation reflect buyer awareness of maintenance risks, distinguishing airworthy examples from potential money pits. Just when you thought you'd seen every maintenance trap, experimental aviation introduces challenges that multiply exponentially with innovation. The Europa XS monowheel, produced by Europa Aircraft in the United Kingdom, represents a classic experimental low-wing aircraft with two side-by-side -side seats, featuring composite construction in fiberglass, epoxy, or carbon fiber, inversions with amateur kit assembly, completing first flight in 1992 under Ivan Shaw's design. The monowheel variant refines performance using single main wheel centered in fuselage with wing outriggers, reducing drag and increasing speed and efficiency. But this innovative spirit brings nightmares, as amateur composite construction requires rigor with delamination, adhesive failures, and inconsistent finishing more common than traditional metal aircraft. The monowheel configuration demands precise piloting during taxiing, takeoff, and landing, as differential braking or intuitive steering may be absent, an increasing risk of propeller strikes or ground loops while finding replacement materials, technical support for kits, builder customizations, and assembly variability elevate hidden maintenance costs, complicating resale. For 2025, market value estimates for well-assembled, maintained, and documented examples revolve around 45,000 to 70,000 United States dollars, while examples with amateur assembly, questionable history, or needed composite structural repairs see much lower values or require significant additional investment, transforming dreams into long-term commitments. Did this investigation change your perspective on aircraft shopping? Hit that like button if you appreciate honest aviation content that saves dreams and wallets. Which maintenance trap surprised you most? Drop your thoughts and comments below and help fellow aviators avoid expensive mistakes. Ready to protect others from these nightmares? Share this video with pilots considering their first purchase because knowledge prevents disasters. Want more aviation truth without the marketing hype? Subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss investigations that separate smart decisions from costly regrets. Watch the videos appearing here on screen and stay with us. Bye-bye.